Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Beautiful, beautiful day. So, uh, just a short thought this morning <clears throat> before I do the reading. Uh, this started today, or started in the beginning, in the first of May. Uh, I just had this thought to read uh, the 24 hour day book on a daily basis, and, and uh, partially because, you know, at that time we had been. In lockdown for quite a while uh, uh, many of us were encouraged to stay home um, you know uh, that there was a lot of fear around uh, because of the this virus thing and, and uh, um, so it just it just came to to uh, to share uh, on a daily basis with the thought to uplift people and my friends and and uh, community <clears throat> and it's a it's it's interesting what you know what's happened uh, I don't know really if anybody has benefited but I have I have I have there's no question that uh, uh, this practice every day to share brings me present brings me into this moment and the question is can it be that simple can it really be that simple that being here now is is the is the deal and and uh, it, and yet it seems that that is that is the deal um, and uh, as we practice presence <laughs> if, if that's a thing as we practice presence and there's many ways you know to kind of incite that uh, uh, through the breath you know the breath can bring us into the moment prayer can bring us into the moment uh, sometimes desperation can bring us into the moment we're you know uh, I see that uh, um, helping out at a treatment center, and I see when guys first come in, they're they're very present because they're scared, you know, and they're desperate, and they're boom, they're they're just they're like open, they're so present. So I want to thank you because you know for me doing this every morning has helped, you know, I just. to get here I have to be here I and it brings me here um, to be and it's and it's that simple it really is uh, ego will tell me that you know on this journey to awakening that I have to travel the world or find a shaman or read a thousand books and all of those have benefit because I I've done them I did them all <laughs> I, I did all that and uh, you know through doing that realized that uh, the answer was this simple that this thing that I was looking for uh, was already n inside of me it was me uh, it, uh, I know that sounds if, if you're not if you don't know what I'm speaking about, it may sound kind of like just too simple. And, and I think many, many people have, have fallen for that. It can't be that simple because they built these complicated religions and teachings uh, to, you know, with the promise of awakening. Um, you know, if you do this, you bow six times in a certain direction or you know I mean I, I'm not making uh, a singling on a particular religion just that there's lots of terms and conditions that one has to abide by to to 
you know, f seek the favor of some distant god. And uh, um, my experience is that there is no distant god. <laughs> How do you like that? There is no distant god. This is it. And as we focus more on this, and, and ego will come up in, with all kinds of stories of why this isn't it. And as we focus more on, on uh, deep inside of us in this moment, we see it. We feel it. We experience it. Uh, and it can only be experienced in the moment. So I, uh, I encourage you to keep it simple. Um, it, it's, it's not complicated. Keep it simple. Now, in our 12 steps, for those of you who are part of the 12-step program, uh, that's, you know, really the whole deal is, you know, is keep it simple. And, um, in step one, we recognize <clears throat> not only that we're powerless over whatever symptom is happening in our life, whether it's drugs or alcohol or, or sex or food or gambling, or, um, um, but we're also powerless over our mind. The second part of step one tells us that our life is unmanageable. And what's it talking about? It's talking about the fact that from our ego, um, we're inherently selfish. We're uh, in our selfishness and self-centeredness, which is the, the foundation of our ego, uh, always gets us in trouble. And in that selfishness is, you know, fear, a hundred forms of fear, you know, uh, thoughts of delusion, um, often, often about, uh, and I, I, of course, have seen this in myself some, from time to time, but, but I also see it in others, often thoughts of, oh, those people are talking about me, uh, they don't like me, I know you guys don't like me, those kind of thoughts, those are self-delusion, or I'm great, I'm just the best on the planet, wow, self-delusion, and, and uh, so all in the ego, uh, so ego just isn't grandiose, you know, ego is self-pity, ego is, uh, you know, a hundred forms of fear, self-delusion, self-pity, self-seeking, we step on the toes of our fellows. So that's the second half of step one. And, and we recognize it to have this spiritual awakening that's promised in the, in, in the 12 steps. Many places it's promised in the third step prayer, or just prior to that paragraph, uh, also in step five. And, and there's many, many promises that Bill put into the, to the process as we go, you know, and uh, we'll do a new freedom, you know, it's, uh, we'll know peace. We'll lose our fear of economic insecurity. Imagine how much time we've spent in fear of not having enough <laughs> in this unbelievable world of plenty, you know. So that's all the ego. And so that's, you know, to see that, to recognize that. And, and, and I knew years ago, I knew years ago, many, many years ago, that I had to change my thinking. But I didn't recognize it. I couldn't change it by myself. Even though I was in this amazing 12-step program, I, I still thought somehow I could figure out how to change it. And that was ego. Ego wanting to hold on to control. And uh, to finally find total surrender. To say, fuck it, I cannot. No matter how many books I read or how many, you know, teachers I go to see, even though many of them were saying just exactly this, uh, ego really needed a dressing down. And uh, thank God, uh, you know, I prayed for that. I really did. I asked for that, and I asked for that, and I asked for that. And, uh, you know, I didn't expect that it would hurt so much. Because <laughs> all the stuff I was hanging on to had to be surrendered. All the ideas about myself had to be surrendered and uh, so for me to finally look in here and see in very quiet moments that the it's that simple it's that simple 
So practice letting go. Like Dr. David Hawkins had, you know, wrote the book called Letting Go. Practice letting go and uh, on a daily basis, uh, sit quietly, just, you know, look inside. I, I uh, for me, because uh, I think I have a particularly crazy mind, you know, the more I get to see it, the more I realize how crazy it is, that do um, so I hang out with uh, through YouTube and, and uh, um, mostly through YouTube. I hang out with amazing teachers still, but only ones who are really pointing towards the solution, which is a relationship with this higher power, uh, like Muji, uh, Ram Dass, who's gone, Muji's teachers, uh, Baba Ji, and, and uh, uh, I forget his name. But, but, uh, and I, I hang out with those guys uh, to listen uh, and feel their energy uh, because they have experienced that oneness. And Muji said the other day that the greatest gift, the greatest gift that you could give the planet was to awaken. to know thyself to awaken so um, you know, I don't know if you're interested in this kind of thing uh, contact me just give me a thumbs up uh, it would be nice to to be with some folks locally that are that are interested in in um, knowing themselves in, in freedom I know that you're there because uh, you do make comments from time to time. So anyway, we're here and in this together. Uh, uh, how's that? Is that better? The wind is blowing a little bit. There's a little bit of breeze and I can hear it. Hi, Lowell. <laughs> hey, buddy. Okay. Uh, hopefully that was... Um, let you know that uh, that could be heard hopefully thank you um, so I'm gonna read the thought for the day from this little book it was written in 1954 uh, and uh, it was uh, basically read for the uh, written for the 12-step community at the time <coughs> it says on this little book when many hundreds of people are able to say that the consciousness of the presence of God is to important fact in their lives uh, they present a powerful reason why one should have faith so that's right out of uh, uh, the 12 steps right out of the big book I love it when many hundreds of people are able to say that the consciousness of the presence of God is today the most important fact of their lives they present a power why one should have faith um, I remember in the uh, in the beginning, uh, and, and, uh, well, a couple of things. One, I had a tough time with the, I had a, I had a really tough time with the word God. And, uh, and then I had, had sometimes a tough time and talking about it. And uh, uh, so I, uh, I just want to rec acknowledge that the concept of God is, is used because it's, it's, we can't really speak of it. It's hard to describe. It's unbelievably impossible to describe this thing we call God. Uh, so if you have an idea or, or a problem with the concept of God, read uh, chapter four in the big books called We Agnostics. It really lays out a number of different concepts and a, 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 you know, an idea of this oneness. I wrote about it in the 30s. It was well done. So we agnostics, great chapter. If you're, if you're like, oh gosh, I'm not sure that I believe in God. So don't imagine God as a separate being. Don't imagine God as, a, as a, something that you have to, um, in a way, um, that, that's separate from you. That you, you have to do something to, to be in his favor. Uh, because that's, that's not the case. So... Uh, Read We Agnostics, it's amazing. So it says, uh, 
when we see others solve their problems by simply reliance upon the spirit of the universe, it's another concept that Bill used, we have to stop doubting the power of God. Our idea, our ideas do not work. That was right. I was, uh, my ego could not manage my life. That's a fact. Our ideas do not work. But the God idea does. Deep down, this is right out of that chapter, deep down in every man, woman, and child is the fundamental idea of God, faith in a power greater than oneself, and the miraculous demonstration of that power in human lives are facts as old as man himself. So that's that's right in the big book. It's amazing. And then the question is, am I willing to rely on the spirit of the universe? So we're relying on something we can't see in a way, and, 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 and we imagine that we can't even touch, but it's we're in it. We're, we're, we're more than in it, we are it. <laughs> Meditation for the day. It says, don't dwell too much on the mistakes, faults, and failures of the past. Be done with shame and remorse and contempt for once for yourself. With God's help, develop a new self-respect. Unless you respect yourself, others will not respect you. You run a race, you stumble and fall, you have risen again, and now you press on towards the goal of a better life. Do not stay to examine the spot where you fell. Only feel sorry for the delay, the short-sightedness that uh, prevented you from seeing the real goal sooner. Beautiful. Hi, Tracy. Hey, love. Hi. Prayer for the day. I pray that I may not look back. I pray that I may keep Picking myself up and making a fresh start each day. Mm -hmm. In each moment. This is it. Well, you guys. It's a beautiful day. So just sit quiet for a while. You know. I don't. I don't if you have a minute, listen to this again. Uh, basically, the answer is inside of us. How do we find this connection with this power that's greater than ourselves? By looking inside. Okay, love you lots. Uh, the other thing that, that uh, I, I encourage is to help others look out for, and to others, to reach out, to, to guide, and to love. Uh, many people are searching. Many people are searching and, and the trouble with m many searchers is that uh, they don't want us to know that they don't know I spent so much time there you know <laughs> uh, thinking I knew ego says this is it and it wasn't or this is it that is it so just recognize that mm, there's nothing to know in a way, there's nothing to know. There's no, there's no formula. There's just be present, be here now, be with this moment, be with this universal intelligence in this moment. Hmm. Okay, love you guys, love you lots. Uh, hmm. Thank you, Tracy, I love you. See you soon.